All right, so uh, today uh, I'm gonna talk about Source Trail, a software developer tool for reading and understanding source code. So my story starts a couple of years ago at the Google Chrome team. Um, I was an intern and I, my task was add a checkbox to the web inspector to show and hide this frame rate meter. And it was a super simple task. The only problem was it took me three weeks. And um, I learned a, a big lesson. I learned that software developers really spend a lot of time on reading and understanding source code. And we can argue about the numbers, but most developers I talk to agree that it's somewhere between 50 to 98% or something. Um, and um, that got me wondering, like, do we really have the best tools uh, for this task? And um, so the Chromium team has a really powerful tool, actually. They have Chromium Code Search, which does some um, cross-referencing. It's basically an uh, in-browser find-all references. But after working with this tool for months, um, I, I was wondering, you know, I, I look at source code all the time, and I have to collect all information by looking at files and build this mental model. Can't I just, you know, have a tool that helps me build that mental model somehow? And um, um, I'm gonna do a jump here, so you can read the whole story on our blog. Um, but it turns out, yes, it's possible. And um, so um, our result is Source Trail, which is a offline cross-platform developer tool. And what it does is it indexes your source code. Um, it uses Clang lib tooling to um, retrieve all the information about which classes exist and how they reference each, each other. And um, the user interface is then made for simple navigation and exploration consisting of search, code, and graph, and demo time. All right. So pretty much works, works like that. You just um, search for anything, like um, shows classes, methods, whatever. And uh, since the last build, you can also filter by just classes. Um, and then the graph shows you like first level dependencies to all other symbols. And the code shows you the definition plus all references. You can click on anything here and it will update both sides. And um, here, the class player, you also see it has a base class on top, derived ones at the bottom. And um, if you click on um, edges, it will show you the exact location. Um, some features that are useful sometimes is like looking at a whole call graph leading to a, uh, to a certain function method being called. Um, you can do the same thing with um, classes and see like the whole um, inheritance chain. Like this information, just the information in the graph is um, scattered between four files or something. So the graph really um, helps in seeing the bigger picture of things. Um, and lastly, you guys like templates. So um, for template classes, you can also see implicit specializations um, and you can see where they are used. All right, um, I could go on for probably an hour, but um, time is short. All right, so um, we have an intro video um, where I show more of, of the tool, if you're interested. And um, so um, Source Trail is already a tool that is um, that you can download and use, and that's helpful. But at the same time, it's still um, in heavy development, and we add new features with every new release. So um, I'd be happy to have to you having a look and give uh, give me some feedback. And um, Everything I just showed you, you can find on sourcetrail.com and thank you for listening.